Hey, what's going on guys? Sam Money in here and today we're back with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be reviewing the dangerous drop items in Minecraft. I did a video like this before a long time ago, but there has been a new item a new item added into Minecraft from the HBO Nuclear Tech mod. Anyway, we're going to grab this. We don't need this at the particular moment, but we are going to need it soon. All right, so we have it looks like 12 uh, items here that if you drop will give you a bad time. All right, we're going to start off nice and simple with our uh, cells here. I'm going to switch up there. I can't type sometimes. I don't know why, but anyway. First thing with first, we're going to test out the antimatter. So you drop that. Oh, instant. Look at that's big. That's bigger than any creeper. Maybe like maybe the size of a charge creeper, maybe. Oh. Just look at the damage of that. Alright. We're gonna go over here. I'll drop this one. E oh my god. You drop that in your base, and you're pretty much losing your base. Look at the size of that. No, that's something you don't want to drop in your base, ladies and gentlemen. This and this do not drop anywhere near your base. We're going to do the uh, the demon core last. Obviously. It doesn't really Okay, we're going to do we're going to do this one and this one last. We're going to do the singularities now and the zen crystal after that and then the uh, antimatter cluster. Which I'm assuming explodes if it's not dropped into a black hole. So we should actually do this one first, because we got black holes and stuff after that. Singularities. I think I got all of them. Oh, I didn't get that one. I thought I was missing one. Okay, there we go. Drop one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's another thing we do not w drop in our base, ladies and gentlemen. Why is it flammable? Who knows? Not me. I'm not a scientist. We drop our miniature black hole first. I love the texture of this. Look at this. Here we go. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. This is great. I absolutely love that. That is absolutely great. Here, let me get a zombie. I was not ready for this. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, he's... I don't think... Okay. There we go. Look at that. You just know you got spaghettified. That is, that is actually cool. That's a nice black hole. All right, boom, out of here. Well, next is our superheating, resonating, superheated, resonating singularity. Continuously heats up matter by re resonating every plantic second. I have, I'm not a scientist, I have no idea what half this stuff means. Tends to catch fire or create small plasma arches. It's not edible. Dang. How is it not edible, though? <clears throat> oh. Okay. That's different. That's different. That's a lot different. That's a lot different. But oh, you can actually go close to this and create it. I wouldn't suggest doing it in survival mode. It's... Obviously, we're probably going to get spaghettified. That is really nice, though. It's a lot more destructive than the other one. I've noticed that. It's a lot more destructive. I think it might be getting smaller, too, though. So, like, it doesn't last. It's already practically faded into obscurity. Like... 
It just, it just disappeared. No. Okay, next we have our contained counter resonant signalarity. Nullifies uh, resident, re a resonance of objects in non Euclid um, space, creating variable gravity well. Spontaneously creates tesseracts. If a tesseract happens to appear near you, do not do not look directly at it. I probably would. I probably will. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that's even bigger, I think. Or it might be. I can't tell if it's bigger or not. Will it actually spawn a tesseract? see one. Rather oh, disappointing. It's getting smaller like the other one again. I forgot to test what would happen if you put two singularities next to each other. Whatever. Oh, that's the same player as well. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. I just had to dump it. We're gonna drop this one here as well. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. What? <laughs> it's a little alien spaceship. That is great. That is actually cool. <laughs> that's. I think that's actually what would happen too. That is actually cool. That is actually funny. They just yeeted each other like completely different ways. <laughs> I mean, they went the same way, but like. That's great. <laughs> I feel like this one might be purple. Ooh, it's red. Look at the size of this. This is huge. This right here. It's having explosions in there. Here, let's do that thing again. Oh, I think I, I, think I might have actually took it. I freaking knew that. Dang it, I didn't, it didn't even drop because it got sucked in there too quickly. That is a nice color though. I like that. What happens if you throw this in here? Obviously, it breaks it up. Very cool though. Ah, I got distracted. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, this is not the right one. Leave it to me to, like, not, not even be at the freaking one that I was at. It's fine. It's literally fine. I don't think I needed any of that stuff that was in there. I think I got everything. I'm not even sure. We're gonna try the, this one next. And then this one. Don't try them both at the same time, obviously. This one works a little differently. So, flame war in a box. We're going to use this one. Position set. And then, let's say you just, like... Get on a lot. Oh, crap. That was bigger than I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> No, just sell it. Flame War in a box is a lot bigger than I thought. Guess, wow. wow. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I thought it was small. I haven't used that in a while. Okay. Next, we're doing the... Uh, that was the uh, dead, uh, dead Man's Detonator. So this one's going to be the Dead Man's Explosive. See, it's already got its little explosive in there, so what we gotta do is just unalive ourselves again. And well, that kind of makes it kind of hard. It didn't even drop. Stupid. Can you just throw it out of your inventory with that? Oh, you know what? That works. That works. That answers my question. I I literally could have done that then. <laughs> Dang it! Why? Alright, next we have the Diagamma Particle. It's got a half-life. 
We're only going to throw one of these because I have no idea how powerful it's going to be. Right, right here. Oh! Oh! That's what that is. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Look at the size of that. I'm just going to let it go. Look at that. Don't drop that in your base. <laughs> Gosh. Don't drop any of this stuff in your base, if I'm being honest. It's it's not a good time. All right, last but... Oh, I needed the Geiger counter. That's what I needed. I just remember what I had in there that I needed. It's fine, though. Just... That actually... That right there is actually radi radioactive. I think that's where the radiation is coming from. It might not be. Oh, it's, it's probably the, uh, the reactor from the last video we did. I don't hear anything reactive. Shut up. Alright, this is what happens when you drop one of these. This is not going to be good. Here, watch this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Apparently holding it's a bad idea. I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, we're having technical difficulties now. I, I don't know if this... Oh, no, that's my other one. Oh, I forgot to drop the Zen Crystal. That's what I forgot to drop. Oh, oh, so all I think this one does is actually, yeah, there it is. It actually like sends whatever item you have up here, <laughs> not item, um, wherever swath of land you have, it's up here now. Even took a little gravestone like dirt block. Okay, now I have to make, get another demon core. Also, you can get a awesome demon core lamp. For only $19.99 at Babasan. I, I shouldn't be holding that one. So this will give you 5 rads a second by itself. But if you drop it here. We'll touch. Apparently the lamp kills you too. That kind of sucks. <laughs> What if I what if I wanted to use the lamp? So I mean I can't use the lamp now? What kind of nonsense is this? Oh yeah, that's that's why I have not survival. No way. I can't even use the demon core. I didn't even open this yet. Okay. Ow. Yeah. I guess that's I guess that yes that makes sense. That is still going. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it'd probably be, probably be a good idea if I selected how many I should have. And it actually it actually does unalive you. Interesting. So if I go over here, I probably will get unalived again. Yeah, as soon as I get into the light. It's, it's not instant, I don't think. There it is. <laughs> I was getting worried that it wasn't working. Radiation poisoning takes time, ladies and gentlemen. I just still haven't actually got to drop this dang thing yet. Suspended. Why? Oh, that's why. It's giving out radiation. All right, we're just going to TP a random place. I do not know how physics works sometimes. Oh, a missile silo. Okay. That's cool. Right. We're going to test out the lamp here. Okay, that does actually kill you. 
So we can confirm that that actually is... Is actually what an alive view. So even the lamp, that kind of sucks. What if I wanted... I thought it was just a cute little decoration when I put it down in survival. I mean, creative. Give ourselves some raid away because we're gonna need it. This one, just to get ourselves back to uh, the normal. Okay, here we go. Ah, instant. You saw that though? It dropped a little screwdriver. That's the that's the little details that really makes this mod really awesome. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.